Hi, my name is Jen Massengill and I'm the nurse manager of perioperative services at Duke Ambulatory Surgery Center. We're pleased that you've chosen Duke University Health System as your health care provider. Our goal is to provide every patient with excellent care. Keeping you safe while you're in our care and when you leave us is very important to us. Today, we're going to walk through instructions and demonstrate how to properly use crutches that will help you during your recovery. Our goal is to make sure that you're comfortable and safe when you're using your crutches. We also want you to feel very involved in the care you receive. After watching this video, you'll be able to correctly adjust crutch height, walk and transfer safely, use stairs, and recognize important safety concerns. Let's get started. Walking with crutches. Crutches are commonly used to help with mobility and used to transfer weight from the legs to the upper body. The different parts of the crutches include crutch pads, handles, buttons for height adjustment, and crutch tips. Before walking, there are two important points to remember. Wear appropriate footwear and be sure your crutches are adjusted to fit your height. Make sure your footwear has a rubber sole with good support. Flip-flops, open-toed, and backless shoes aren't safe. A member of your care team will help make sure that your crutches are the right size for your height. You can adjust the height by pushing both buttons on the lower part of the crutches and adjusting the tip. Before you begin walking with your crutches, your doctor will inform you and your care team of the amount of weight, if any, you're permitted to put on your surgical leg. This is referred to as weight-bearing status. Please ask a member of your care team if you're unsure of your status. It's very important to follow your instructions to prevent a fall or other serious injury. If you're non-weight-bearing, it will be because of a lower extremity block or a surgical repair. Bearing weight at any time may result in a fall. Don't put any weight on your surgical leg until your doctor tells you it's okay. If you're non-weight-bearing, your team will determine the appropriate position for your surgical leg. Your crutches should be shoulder-width apart and your elbows slightly bent. Make sure the crutch pad isn't pushing into your armpit. There should be about two finger widths distance between the pad and underneath your arm. As you begin to walk, bring your crutches forward. Then, push through your hands and advance your non-surgical leg stepping with the opposite leg. Rising from a seated position, non-weight bearing. Rising from a seated position can seem challenging. Please be sure that a member of your care team is present before you attempt to try this on your own, either in the hospital or at home. First, you'll need to place both crutches on the same side as your injured leg. Be sure that both crutch tips are placed firmly on the ground. Next, grasp both crutch handles using the hand on the surgical side while your other hand is placed beside you for support. With your non-surgical foot on the floor, push yourself into a standing position and transfer your weight onto the crutches to maintain your balance. Once you're in a standing position, slowly release your grip on the outer crutch. Using the opposite arm, grab the upper part of the crutch and place it under that arm. Use this to help yourself balance while you position the other crutch on your surgical side. Sitting down, non-weight bearing. First, make sure there's a caregiver present and place both crutches on your surgical side. Next, make sure the back of your knee is against the seat of the chair. This ensures you can safely lower yourself onto the chair. Using your free hand, grab the arm of the chair and slowly lower yourself into a seated position. Using the stairs, non-weight bearing. The safest way to go up a flight of stairs is to move up on your bottom. First, sit down on the stairs and place your hands behind you on the step above where you're sitting. Have your caregiver hold your surgical leg as you move yourself up the stairs. Use your upper body and your non-surgical leg to push yourself upward. 
Some important safety tips to remember are to always have a caregiver present, don't put any weight on your leg unless instructed by your surgeon, and always protect your surgical leg. We hope that you found our demonstration useful. You'll now have time to practice using the equipment with a member of your care team to ensure you're comfortable using it at home. Remember, our goal is to make sure that you receive excellent care. Please speak up and let one of your care team members know if you have any concerns or questions.